Okay, this is just a quick video just to recap what we've learned so far. Okay, folks, um, you've already done an investigation on uh, equations of this form. Okay, so you should be familiar already with uh, what A does and what H does. When you put numbers where you see A and H, you should be familiar with what happens to the parabola, um, like a parabola over here, okay? Now, just to recap though, um, let's recap. Uh, a, A talks about how, how skinny or wide a parabola is, okay? So if A is a number above 2, like 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the parabola will be skinny, okay? The bigger the number, the skinnier the graph. And in math, they don't usually say skinny for a parabola. They say vertically stretched. If A is uh, like between 0 and 1, so if it's like 1 half or 1 fourth or 0 0.3, then the graph will look more wide, like this. Okay, It'll still be a parabola, but it'll be wider. And A does not change where the vertex is, okay? The vertex is going to stay the same no matter what A is. The last thing about A is that if A is negative, the graph is going to open downwards instead of upwards, okay? So, so far, do you catch on to what A is all about? All right, let's talk about H now. So we have H over here, and with H, this is something new. If h is the number 3, okay, if h is the number 3, the graph is going to go 3 units to the right. So the vertex will move over 3 places to the right. If h is negative 3, whoops, let's get rid of that little mistake there. I want to make it clear. If h is negative 3, the graph is going to go three units to the left. But be this is confusing because, I'll show you. Let's pretend we had a three there. X minus, remember I said, if H is negative three, the graph is going to go three units to the left. But what's confusing about this, what's confusing about this, is that two negatives make a positive. So if I was to write this again, this is what I would get. 3 equals x. Remember, two negatives makes a positive in here. So. so if you see a graph like this, you're probably going to say to yourself, hey, I see a 3. That means the graph goes 3 units to the right. Well, I want to introduce this idea right now. The brackets are always lying to you. The brackets always lie, okay? So if it says plus 3 right here, <clears throat> this graph or this parabola actually is going to go 3 units to the left, not to the right, okay? So the brackets always lie. If you get a question like this, come on, oh my goodness, how could it do that? All right, pretend you can see this clearly. There's an x minus 3 here. Okay, You might say, hey, I see a minus 3. It must be going 3 units to the left. No, the brackets always lie. The graph is going to go 3 units to the right instead of to the left. Okay, So that's where this gets confusing. If h, if h is negative 3, then the graph goes 3 units to the left. But remember, when you put a negative 3 into where h is, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. So when h is negative 3, it's going to change the sign to look like this on the inside. Well, let's just uh, practice with this a little bit by using our fancy smart board here. Actually, I can just hit that button. It gets rid of it. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Now, here we have 3 bracket x minus 4 bracket squared. Now, the 3, as we know, is positive. So the graph over here, as you can see, is going up. I can move this around like this. And notice that the graph normally is at 0, right? y equals x squared, or even y equals 3x squared, would have a vertex right at 0, 0. But when we put this negative 4 here, look at that. It didn't go 4 units to the left, did it? 
it goes four units to the right. Look at the vertex. It was right here, and it moved over one, two, three, four units to the right. Notice there's no up and down going on. That's going to be in the next section that we talk about, okay? We just do one step at a time in this course. So a negative four here will make this go four units to the right. What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to change this graph right here. By the way, I'm going to make it a little bigger. What do you think is going to happen if I change this to, instead of a negative four, I'm going to put a plus three. That J, somehow it got in there. There we go. So what do you think is going to happen before I push anything here? Think about it. Okay. See it? We have a situation where the graph, instead of being at zero, zero, the vertex has moved over three places to the left. Okay? There's a plus three here. The brackets are lying to us. The graph is three places over to the left. Okay? Not up and down. It's just three places to the left. Okay, so I think you get the left and the right part now, right? Just to make sure you know what's going on, uh, let's change this one more time. What happens if I make this uh, a negative 3 in front? What's going to happen to the graph? Let's check it out. Look at that, it's going down. Notice it's going down, but it's still three places over to the left. Because this plus 3 is here, three places over to the left. The brackets always lie. The part here in front, the negative side in the front, that never lies to you, by the way. That's always telling you what's going on. A negative means it's going to open downward, and if the 3 is positive, it opens up. It's the brackets. It's what's inside here that's always lying to you. Okay, um, last thing. What happens if I make, instead of 3 there, I go 1 third? Hmm, let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can go 1 third. Negative, no, let's make it positive 1 third. What's the graph going to do? There it is. Notice how wide it is compared to the other graph? See how wide that is? And the vertex, although it's kind of hard to see, you know that it's right at the same exact spot. It's right there. Okay, it's at um, negative 3. And it doesn't go up or down, so negative 3 comma 0 would be our exact location there. All right, whoops. I drew a dot there by accident. Oh well. That's okay. <laughs> so hopefully you get the basics of this uh, situation, okay?